guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so today is a really exciting day we have um, the henrietta lax family coming to visit our school and the author of the immortal life of henrietta lax so a little bit about henrietta lax she was a african-american woman back in the 1950s um, she went to get tested for cervical cancer and her cells were taken and um, without her consent used for research and it turned out that her cells were the first um, regenerative cells to be discovered and basically it was a huge breakthrough in um, medical research and medicine at large but unfortunately she never gave consent to her cells being taken and her family was never notified about her cells being taken and what it's contributed to science until years and years later and they were never compensated for anything so Basically, it just brings a lot of um, questions about medical ethics um, to the table. It also contributes a lot to um, the distrust that certain communities feel with uh, medicine, especially the African American community. So, it's really, it's a really, really um, sad story, a really important story to reflect on, um, just so that we can think about these things as we move forward uh, in medicine and think about these things as future healthcare providers and how it's going to affect our relationships with our patients. So this is a huge opportunity and I'm really excited about it. Um, a lot of us are really excited about it. I'm gonna try to take you guys along with me. I'm not sure what the um, rules are regarding cameras, but we'll see. Um, if you're interested, stay tuned and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hi, beautiful. Hi. Hi. Hey, Bria. <laughs> hey. Are we reading on this? The day that she passed away. Ms. President, you got any thoughts? I am, I don't want to say nervous, but jittery. Anxious? Anxious. Anxious. Yeah. Hope to speak to some family and um, just acknowledge Henrietta's <laughs> unknowing contribution to medicine and what that means to us. guys so we just left the meet and greet and it was really nice um, the family was so sweet later is the talk and they're gonna um, discuss things um, it's gonna be in a bigger location and um, they're gonna actually talk this was just a meet and greet but it was a really good time I'm gonna try to bring you guys with me there and hopefully get a little bit more footage we um, are eating our lunch and reflecting on today's event. Mm -hmm. There is much more to come this evening. But yeah, what did you guys think of it? Um, it was great. It was um, it was a very humbling experience. It was good to meet the family of someone who made such a great impact in medicine. Mm -hmm. It just it was good energy. It was it was good energy. It was a yeah. good reminder of why I'm here and why I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. 
Dina, what did you think? I thought it was a good way to just be in another environment and like understand that what you're doing right now is bigger than you. I was very grateful for the family, but also understanding like medical ethics and keeping that in mind like as we grow in medical school. I was also really grateful for how positive the family yeah. was given the history yeah. of mm -hmm. their family in medicine. Like they just seem to have like a really positive energy, like which I, I mean, given the history, a lot of people couldn't have that positive energy. I think that says a lot about they their were, character. Very friendly, Amazing. very, very warm, very loving, and they appreciated our presence in that moment. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was really awesome. Cause it's nice, it's, you know, it's nice. We came, we came to appreciate them, they appreciate but they us. really appreciated us, and I think that's what really kind of it's like, wow, like I'm doing this, like I'm in medical school to make a difference to people like this, you know. Yeah. Oh, they have to go to class. Yeah. Um, I don't yeah, have, any. Sorry. Don't have any right now. Uh, so I'm going to keep studying. But um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys more later when we go to the actual talk and they speak more on um, the book and whatnot. The author will be there and everything. So yeah. Okay guys, so I'm back home. Unfortunately, they didn't let us take um, any videos or pictures uh, during the actual talk. So there were two family members. One was the daughter-in-law of Henrietta Lacks and one was the granddaughter of Henrietta Lacks. The biggest um, thing that came across to me was the positive attitudes of the family members. I mean, it was really, really amazing. And also her granddaughter, Victoria, kind of gave a little spiel about how, um, how pretty much there's this huge distrust between um, the African-American community and minority communities um, with clinicians and with healthcare at large and how it's very understandable but then she also spoke to how important it is that we contribute to medical research and that a certain disease can affect um, different demographics differently and so we need to have um, minority communities participating in medical research if we want to learn about the diseases that affect minority communities and she really spoke to that and I had so much respect for that because it's so true and, and me as a medical student learning about these diseases I'm seeing that there is a huge disparity in medical research and I have been constantly trying to understand why there is this disparity is it because there's a lack of researchers who are interested in these diseases is because there's a lack of people willing to participate in these studies because of the distrust that exists with um, with these communities and clinicians. Like I've seriously been thinking about this so much since I started medical school and so I guess to hear her speak to that it really really touched me and I really um, I just had a lot of respect for it because despite the things that this family has gone through they really do see the big picture and I think that um, it's important to acknowledge the shortcomings um, in medicine, but it's also important to move forward and try to learn from it and improve medicine and how it's delivered. Like, I don't know, I just, I felt that this was such an important event and it was it was really well put together and I'm really grateful that it happened. Uh, thanks guys for watching. I'm sorry I couldn't take you um, with me like to see the actual talk, but you know, I didn't want to break the rules and out of respect, just, yeah, I felt like that it wouldn't have been appropriate for me to take any pictures or anything. But um, I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, if you don't know about um, Henrietta Lacks, um, I will probably put in the description a little bit more information or link um, some more information about it because this is really, really important and I think that it's worth reading up on. Hella cells have contributed to the discovery of so many treatments and I can almost positively say that its discovery has impacted each person who watches this video personally. Like, it's that important. So, um, I will definitely put some more information in the description box. Um, so yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.